Hello guys, welcome back. After learning database working process and queries, you will able to design the application database. I will teach you how you can design the application database. This is a project of this course, right? So I have developed basically some time ago I developed this application with the help of C Shop and in the back end I have a SQL server. So I will teach you how you can design this application database. So first anyone user click on the student registration form then this form will appear inside the screen. So first step we need to create a table to store the student registration form record inside the SQL Server database. So I go to my SQL Server and create a uh, click to new query and I will create my own new database okay because I will use the new database to store the application database I mean I store the application data in my database so I create a database first I write the comment design student registration application database right create database I use student registration this is a my database select that and execute that I use student registration okay I will use this database a uh, student registration to store the all record inside my this database okay but remember that I just teach you how you can design the application database right so I go to my C shop I'm in Visual Studio code I'm in Visual Studio so for that inside the student registration I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 fields okay so we need to create a table and we need to assign the columns and also types so I go to SQL server and I create a table I use student card table Let's create table student registration first I use student ID integer primary key identity one by one right now the second one is that we need to create a student name I use type virtual 50 comma comma then I go to again first name last name so if I that I use a student I use first name okay first name copy that paste here and last underscore name uh, father name paste on the query father name father ID I will use uh, the data type virtual because this is uh, only for text okay and even user will use the father ID I mean enter the number then the number will store into father sorry father ID and the father ID column it is not important to use integer because I just stored the value inside the column okay now email copy that paste here and just change the name email mobile number mobile number and date of birth I use DBO type I use virtual okay because I will store only text if I will store the salary 
and I will perform the operation like insert I mean addition multiplication division so I will use integer data type right date of birth date of date of registration okay I use same data type and this is a class I will create another new table to uh, assign the two columns because this is a combo box okay and also I need to assign the first I use just a minute I use a uh, second I will use this column on later this time I will just assign the address okay ST address virtual type 50 and gender gender virtual okay this is our table okay but in this table we need to enter one two three four cards so we need to create a another tables so like with the name of class country province and also city those tables I have explained you all about the working process to make a relationship and display the data to combo box and anyone user will click on the country for example select the Pakistan then Pakistan province will appear inside the province combo box so we need to use relationship to make a relationship between the country province and also city table and this is a separate table I will create separate table with the name of class okay so I do not run this query first I just show you create tables country province city okay I use create table country country ID integer primary key identity one by one country name virtual right execute that and I need to assign the store the value inside this table because I will use this table to display the record on the just a minute I just store only one value Pakistan okay now we need to create another table to make a relationship so I copy that Provence okay I remove the comment okay I use Provence Provence ID Provence name and also we need to use CID you can write any name I use foreign key references and table name country and column name country ID which have a primary key identity I have explained you all about relationship and working process to make a relationship using foreign key primary key right I have explained you all about that okay this is a my second table so I execute that and I also use insert query to store the record I use send and the country ID one okay now we need to change the table right now the third one is that we need to create another table like uh, city city id city name and pid means province id and we need to use province table name and province id column name which have a primary key identity this is our city table select that execute that we need to store the also record inside this table i use karachi number one I will store many records inside the city table. Okay, 
Hyderabad number one and also I will use Larkana number one okay select that execute that okay now the next one is we need to create a class table okay create class table let's create table classes and class id integer primary key identity i do not use a relationship to uh, make a relationship between the classes table with country or in other tables I will I use relationship to connect this table with student registration table right just a minute I will show you and class name type by your virtual 50 okay select that execute that I use a store instead into classes Values. I store many to call like a C sharp Java PHP. Okay. Okay. After creating an and store the record inside the each table, like uh, province, city, uh, country, province, and uh, city table then you will able to use that to display the record inside the um, class combo box country combo box province combo box and also city combo box after displaying the each record inside the class country province and city table then user will able to select the specific record right after selecting the specific record then user will need to store the values like first name last name father name and many other fields so after using that you need to create the student registration table inside the registration table you need to make a relationship or you can connect the each table which are used to display the data into combo boxes like uh, i will show you you need to connect the class table inside the student registration form or a student registration table country table province table and also city table okay so i go to below and i select uh, just a minute um, after the date of registration i will connect the class table i use uh, classes type I use integer foreign key references and table name is classes and column name is class ID okay we need to connect this table into student registration table this is a series wise columns okay series wise okay now I need to connect the country Provides and city table in the last section. I mean after the gender. Okay, let's check it now. Okay, what's problem now? Okay, this is the last one gender after gender. We need to include the country province and city table so I use country mm, I use con ID integer foreign references table name is country and we need to include the column name which have a primary key identity okay and also use comma copy that paste here you need to change the pro ID means province ID province and go to above and select the province column ID like this pop that paste here finally you need to connect the last one table which have a city name so you need to write the CTY ID you can write any name in my case I use the CTY name 
okay so I go to our boy and copy the city ID column name and paste here right so guys this is our complete table okay this is our complete table that will use to store the student registration form right so you need to select that and click to execute come on complete it successfully right save that I will save this file inside my secure server and I will create a another folder student registration system project I enter the part one okay if I will change the name then I rename it okay okay guys so this is a um, long video so in the next video I'm gonna teach you another thing so thank you very much for watching see you in the next click see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can insert the record update the record delay the record and also view the record basically I just tell you how you can design the application database I again and again tell you right in programming language you need to use this method to design the application database this is a example to create an application database right so you will use this database this complete database to make a application with the help of C sharp right so after creating a table then I show you just a minute then user will click on the save button then the data will store inside this table so you need to write the query like insert into table name is a uh, check table name student registration values parentheses first I check the columns okay many columns available okay first one is a uh, first name I use programmer last name is a uh, I use uh, blogger and third one is a father name I use uh, a b c d father id is I use double nine double six email is abc abcd gmail.com I use date of birth using zero nine zero nine one double nine six date of registration I use one zero one zero one one 2017 okay and uh, date of registration then class I use class uh, I need to assign the class ID okay because the class ID because the class table is connected with this database I mean this table so I use select static from classes okay cut that and go to below paste and select that and execute that I want to assign the number one okay number one then I again select the table student registration okay last one and I use address I use address comma Hrachi house number A B C D E okay this is the example of the demo card right and agenda is a mail phone ID means country ID I use one province ID means one and I will assign the city so I use one okay select that execute that okay I need to use also okay. what is problem now just a minute I check it 
first name last name first name last name father name father id email mobile number okay i need to also assign the mobile number after the email okay as you can see email we need to assign the mobile number select the complete query run the query where is the problem uh, the insert config button and foreign key database student registration city table column id city wide just a minute i check it city by id okay i select static from city table okay i need to assign the value inside the city table okay this is empty table so where is this? okay this is my mistake I use CT table okay and I check it the province table this is my mistake guys so we need to truncate the table truncate table province because this is a incorrect record okay I think something is wrong okay I can't delete the province table because this table is connected with uh, city table right. right and also this province table is connected with uh, student registration table so first we need to delete the first we need to delete this table okay I just use first I use no I use delete table okay drop table student registration okay student registration I execute that okay now the next one is I go to a bow and we need to delete the second one table like uh, city because the each table are connected with province table then cut that and also you need to use truncate query to as you can see command successfully so I will store synth number one okay then I create a again city table and also assign the same values and also we need to create a last one table okay then you will able to see everything is perfect okay select the query let's get that one row affected okay it means we are successfully stored the record inside the table like a student registration let's check it now select the static from student registration right id1 programmer blogger abcd father id for uh, email mobile number date of birth date of registration this is unreadable don't worry i will teach you how you can use joins to display the record readable and karachi gender is a mail one 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 okay now the next one is the update so i will use update query update table name is student registration i use a lot of query okay just a minute i should show you i want to update uh, for example i want to update the record from this table so i want to update the father id equal to 6969 where student id equal to 1 this is the example okay okay everything is perfect 6969 okay now the next one is a delete the record but i will use uh, i will store another record i use programmer 2 just a minute 
I store again this record program 2 and everything is same update record I mean store the record then execute that two records okay so I want to use delete the record so I will use delete from table name table name is the student registration and where student ID equal to one okay this is our query to delete the record from the table right let's take it now using select a statement right now the next one is a view I mean you will use join to display the readable record so this video is too long in the next video I'm gonna teach with you how you can use join to display the record display the readable record so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture welcome back guys in this video I'm gonna teach with you how you can use join to display the readable record I will use inner join to display the readable record right so first I use select this column name this column name right this column name I use a uh, student registration dot the first column name the student ID right? this column name okay then I will select the each column which are available inside this table student registration dot first column name first name I use the second one row and I use student I use comma guys just a minute student registration dot third column name last name right student registration dot fourth column name father name comma right and student registration dot uh, father ID I need to select the each column which available inside this table step by step okay and series wise also I use the student registration table name dot uh, last after the father ID I use email comma student registration dot uh, mobile number column name student registration this is table name dot dbo comma I enter another line student registration dot d O underscore registration this column okay and we need to use a uh, class table name this is a class um, ID okay so we need to use class table name this table name right and we need to select this column okay I want to display the readable record so we need to use class table name dot class name right then I need to use again student registration this is a another table names okay because this table is connected with student registration table so we need to use in a join to match the record okay okay now the next one is a ST address okay ST address so I use student registration dot ST address comma student registration dot ST gender comma and those are country ID province ID and city ID those are another table so we need to use another table name like first one is a country I want to display the country name comma then second one is a province table name dot I want to display the province name third one is a city ID I mean city table name dot city name okay after selecting the whole columns which are available inside this table and out of this table then you need to write the from keyword and table name the table name is student registration because they all columns available inside this table and those tables you will use inner join to connect that okay from student registration then you need to write the inner join and connect the each table I use inner join 
student registration table on first I will connect the image the record from the class table okay so I use student registration table name dot class ID this column ID just a minute this column ID will match I use equal sign and class table classes table name okay classes table name dot the first column name which have a primary key identity then I use again inner join student registration right and I join no I think I need to change that okay from a student registration I uh, join Uh, student registration on um, student registration dot class ID okay okay no I think I need to change this class in the join classes okay I need to enter the table name which are connected with this table classes okay now the next one is a uh, country okay on uh, student registration dot uh, con ID this column ID equal to country column country table name dot country ID then again use in a join provides table name on uh, table name which have uh, all records like student registration dot province ID second one column like this equal to province table name dot first column name whichever primary key identity use in the join last one is a CT table on student registration dot CT by ID column name will match the ID with city table dot first column which have a primary key identity so this is our complete query I select that execute that as you can see guys number two and which class are have in class underscore name column C sharp and country Pakistan Province in and city is a Karachi. This is a long query because the columns inside the co uh, table have a many columns, so we need to use the long query. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture. Hello, guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna teach with you how you can create a table for teacher registration. So I go to Visual Studio. Inside the Visual Studio, I have a form, teacher form. Inside the teacher form, I have a same fields like uh, first name, last name, father name, ID number, email, mobile number, date of birth, and this is the expertise combo box, address, agenda, country, province, and also city. So I will use same process to create a table and first I will create a table uh, expertise and assign the value inside the expertise table then I will use same country province and city table to connect the teacher form I don't need to make uh, another table like country province and city table I will use same table and I will connect the country province and city table inside the teacher form Okay, so I go to my SQL server. I use teacher form data. First, I create a table for expertise table. Okay, I use create table expert 
parentheses parentheses first one is a uh, uh, ex id integer primary key identity one by one and x parties okay type watcher i just use two columns okay select that and execute that now we need to insert the record inside the table to expertise values i use expertise for example c sharp java just a minute java php okay okay after I store the record inside the expertise table then user will able to see user will basically developer will use this statement select the static from expertise after using this statement then user will able to see the data display inside this combo box after displaying the Value inside the expertise combo box, then user will able to select the expertise, right? And we need to uh, create a table to store the another records like first name, last name, father name, ID, email, and many other fields. So I go to the SQL Server create table for teacher. Okay, I use create table teacher parentheses first I use teacher ID type integer primary key identity one by one comma then I check it the first name F name for Varsha 50 L name Varsha 50 father name F name okay I use father name okay father name virtual 50 id number type virtual okay 50 and email virtual 50 uh, mobile number type virtual 50 and date of birth DOB type watcher expertise I need to connect the expertise table inside the teacher table so I use ex id integer foreign key references table name the table name is the expertise copy that paste here parenthesis inside the parenthesis you need to pass the first column name which have a primary key identity oh, paste it right and now the next one is a uh, address a double d teach address version 100 okay and gender Watcher, and we need to use same table name so I go to above and I will copy the this code okay this same code because I will use country province city table inside the teacher form I need to just use column name I change the column name mm. Pro ID, Pro ID, and City ID. I use uh, I I use another name like uh, C T ID. Okay, okay. I think everything. Oh, just a minute. I think everything is perfect. Okay, so I select the table and execute that okay we have successfully made the table with the name of teacher then user will able to use this form 
to store the record inside the table but we need to use insert query right insert record share record okay first I use select statement to display the columns right I use insert into teacher radius first one is I use uh, if name in if means first name uh, I use uh, for stack developer okay I use full stack okay now the last name I use developer for other name I use uh, JavaScript okay and uh, ID number is Nine nine, just uh, nine six nine six. Email is jsd at gmail dot com. Mobile number is I use mobile number like uh, double five double nine double five. Okay, expertise ID, right? We need to select that this table and assign the id number which expert is you want to assign this user so i use for example second one okay java now i use again select a statement to display the teacher record okay expert is id then comma teacher address i use um I use Hyderabad okay then country ID 1 province ID 1 and city is a 2 and that number 2 have a have a Hyderabad so execute that okay where is the mistake I check it guys just a minute first name uh, second name father name Father ID, email, mobile number. Okay, mobile number. Okay, we need to assign the data birth after the mobile number. Okay, comma, single quotation. I use nine nine one six. Okay, I think everything is perfect. No, something is wrong. I check it again. First, I check the query select. Uh, incident to teacher values first name last name one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay twelve records so I check it now in the table one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen where I I check it just a minute and last name father name ID email uh, mobile number date of birth expert is ID teacher it is okay gender okay guys we need to use comma and gender is now and I think everything is perfect okay everything is perfect select that and execute right this is our table teacher table the user will use teacher form like this to store the record inside that table and the record has been appeared inside this table and you are able to see this is a teacher record and now another operation so i will teach you on later so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in this video i'm gonna teach with you how you can update delete and view record so first we uh, use update query uh, update table name is teacher I want to update the user ID. Okay, 
and I assign the ID file number 1010 where teacher ID equal to 1 okay and also I use select the statement to display the plot right now the next one is uh, delete the record but before delete the record we need to insert the record so I use a full stick one and the all data will store inside the table same so I execute that and I check it now okay so I use delete statement delete from table name teacher where the first column name teacher ID I will use teacher ID to delete the record. I will delete second record. Right now, the next one is a uh, view. So I will use same thing like uh, join. First, I select this. I will use join in a join to display the readable record. So let's start. I will select teacher teacher ID. I mean teacher table name dot the first column name which have a primary key identity like this then I call the each column which available inside the table and outside of the table so I use teacher dot first I use F name comma teacher dot L name comma teacher dot father name comma teacher dot uh, ID right comma teacher dot uh, email and then teacher dot uh, mobile number teacher dot uh, DOB then we need to include that table name which have uh, expertise number like two so i use call expertise call uh, table name dot and i want to select the expertise column name which have a data to display the readable record right now the next one is the teacher address so i call teacher dot teacher address then teacher dot gender then i will use other table name like country dot first second column name which have a readable record like country name I call Provence dot Provence name which have a readable record now the next one is city dot city name I call from the table name teacher okay this is our complete query this is a long query right I use enter 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 okay what's problem now on here expertise just a minute I check it on expertise table name I check it uh, table name okay table name is expertise and also column name is text uh, expertise okay don't worry I will use complete query okay from the table name then I use inner join first I include the expertise table name equal to uh, teacher teacher table name dot sorry I need to use uh, join on then I call teacher dot expertise ID this column name okay which have a foreign key and this column have a teacher inside the teacher table okay I will use um, expertise table name dot first column name if this column ID and expertise column ID will match to display the readable record right I have used equal sign right 
Now use same process in a join. I will include country table on teacher dot CID co ID okay equal to country table name dot first column name. Then I use inner join province on teacher dot provide equal to our province table name dot provide. Now the last one is that I use inner join city table name on teacher dot ct id equal to city table name dot first column name this is our complete inner join select that and execute that as you can see guys java this is a readable record pakistan sin and city name is also drop up so in this video we have completed to insert update delete and also view record and the teacher form in the next video i'm gonna teach with you just a minute i will show you fees form okay so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in this video i'm gonna teach with you how you can design the fees form okay fees form database or table so in this form have a student combo box class combo box month combo box and date time picker and amount for five fields so i will use foreign key references to connect the student name and display inside the combo box i will use foreign key references to connect the class table to display the class value inside the combo box i will create new table with the name of month and assign the value inside the table and also i will use select a statement to display the data inside the combo box and we need to create two column okay more than five column but this fees form have a unique two columns like date of admission and amount and and also this column okay but i will use foreign key references to connect the student name and also class data so i will show you just a minute i find the class just a minute i will show you as you can see guys this is a class classes table so i will connect this table with fees form okay and i also i will connect the, the student registration table to get the user first name Okay, so we need to use foreign key references to connect this table and after connecting the table we will able to get the name and we need to create a table uh, like um, like a month okay so I use fees form table Let's create table fees okay so let's first one is I use fees ID and here primary key identity one by one second one we need to connect that table with student registration table so I use student uh, name okay I use type integer and key references and then I need to use I need to use a table name student underscore registration and column name which have a primary key identity I go to above, above and finally I have seen this column name okay and I also check the table name student registration okay go to below and the paste now third one is a uh, first I check it where is it? classes okay I use class and use type integer foreign Q 
key references and table name is a classes and column name is a I go to above and I will get the first column name which have a primary key identity and this is a class table classes table inside the classes table have a two columns like a class ID and class name so copy that the first column name which have a primary key identity and paste it right now the third one is a month so we need to create a month table so I create month table uh, create table month okay id integer primary key identity one by one and uh, months okay type virtual comma so i need to use a uh, insert query insert into months and use values i use i have assigned the few months because i just want to show you okay i just assign four months okay select that and execute that insert into months okay we need to create this table just a minute right okay after creating and store the record inside the month table then we will able to use this table on here month id i use month name okay i use month id okay integer foreign key references table name and column name which have a primary key identity like this and I also change the student ID okay now the next one is a uh, um, date of admission DOA admission DOA okay type watcher and amount I will use amount type integer because the amount is very important to perform the uh, dip different operations like uh, insert uh, I mean update I mean addition deletion addition I mean addition uh, subtraction multiplication and division and you can perform many other operations so I use amount type integer so this is our fees table select that I, I check it I check it just a minute okay select that and execute that okay we need to store the record inside the table so first I use select statement fees a student ID okay I use insert into fees values student ID one comma class I use one comma month I use uh, also one comma date of birth I use five 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 two triple nine and amount I use uh, manually 5000 just a minute student ID I select again student registration table okay I need to assign the second one ID okay because the first ID doesn't appear inside the student registration table so I use right number two this is a why I see number two fees ID just a minute I truncate the table just a minute truncate table fees 
and I again store record. Let's check it now again. Okay, everything is perfect. Fees ID 1, student ID 2, class 1, month ID 1, date of birth, amount. Okay, so you can use, I use again the same thing but I change few fields because I will use delete operation to delete the record okay right so this is a insert in record and in insert fees record and update fees record I use update and the table name is a fees uh, I want to update the amount from just a minute and set set uh, amount equal to 10,000 where fees ID underscore ID equal to true this is our update record right you can use delete fees record so I will use uh, the delete query delete from table name fees where first column name I check it the first column name fees ID fees ID equal to two okay select that and execute that okay so guys so we have successfully made table with the name of fees and also we have assigned the value inside the table and perform those operations like update delete and insert the record so in the next video i'm going to teach with you how you can use join to display the readable record so thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about how we can create a fees form and perform those operations like insert update delete in this video i'm going to teach with you how you can use in a join to display the readable record right first i execute the select statement to display the columns okay guys so first i use display read table record so first i target the fees table right fees and first column name id comma then i will use a uh, student table to get the student name so i call a student registration table name dot and i find the name okay first name right then i call classes table to get the class name then i select the fees table to get the month id no i use month Table. sorry for that month table and I will get the month okay then I use comma and fees table name inside the fees table name have a DOB DOA date of registration and finally is fees column name and finally is amount I use from keyword and the table name is a fees then I use inner join and I connect the first one is a student registration on fees dot first column name second column name which have a student ID equal to a student registration table name dot first column name which have a primary key identity uh, STID right then I use inner join I connect the classes table on classes table name dot class ID equal to mm, fees table name dot class column name whichever 
um, foreign key references inside the fees table right I use class column name. then I use again inner join and I connect the month table on month table name dot first column name which have a primary key identity I connect or match the table content or ID with fees table column name I use fees dot uh, month ID right then I think everything is perfect okay month ID okay let's check it now select that and execute that as you can see guys fees ID column name one first name programmer class name C sharp month January date of registration and also amount this is a readable record, right we have used join in a join now after displaying the record we will able to display the record on the fees page okay after creating a student registration teacher fees we will able to work on another button or another operation like records or report display I will show you just a minute I run this project and then you need to wait a couple of seconds I use admin admin and just a minute okay I click on the records or reports we have seen three buttons in the student record we will able to see the student table inside the student table have a complete student record so inside this button I will use student registration join I will show you just a minute this join okay it will display the complete student readable record okay I use copy that no I just uh, tell you okay okay now the next one is a uh, teacher record you can use same process you do need to go on the teacher table and copy the teacher join like this and paste on the button now the final one is a fees record you can use the last one join like uh, this join to display the fees readable record right now the next one is a uh, I go to the visual studio admin registration we need to create a admin registration table inside the table we need to create three columns first one is the ID second one is username third one is the password and you can use same process like a save update delete so I go to the SQL server and I use admin travel I use create travel admin admin ID integer primary key identity one by one uh, admin sorry user name I use virtual password virtual that is right this is our admin table select that execute that we need to store the record inside the admin table admin values I use the username is admin and also password is admin under effect and you can also use the same things like insert uh, update delete record so this is our complete project okay and this is a logout button it will handle on the programming language but we have used SQL server to design the student registration uh, form database or table teacher registration fees registration record or reports 
uh, data so this is a complete video all about uh, complete course all about secure server and also project i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching have a nice day guys